at any time. So I'll go ahead and get everybody to uh, come in, in a couple more minutes. Hope everybody's had a good Monday so far. We know how Mondays are at work. So I appreciate everybody coming in. Miss Grace, Andrew, Kim, everybody. Appreciate y'all coming in. It's so good to see y'all. Hope everybody had an amazing weekend. Now we're back here to Monday reality. So excited to be in show mode. Excited to uh, definitely uh, be ready for a great show tonight. I think you guys are really in for a treat. We've got some great guests tonight and uh, i'm just super excited about the show for sure i see emojis in the box because we'll go ahead and get started here in just a minute as everybody's coming in thank you guys so much guys also want to mention everybody too um just so for anybody that's new to the show we don't want anybody to think that we're not paying attention to comments we're not reading comments or we're not you know reacting to uh gifts or anything like that but um, you know, that's just out of respect for the conversation to the guests and people that we're having. So don't want anybody to think that they're getting ignored. Don't want anybody to think that we don't appreciate, you know, what you're saying, but just wanted everybody to know just out of respect of the conversation and respect to the guests that we have, um, we uh, don't really interact to that as much as it would be like a regular stream. So I see emojis here. I see a whole bunch of new people are coming in. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Oh, Emoji, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate that intro. Guys, Emoji will post his uh, YouTube channel on the bottom if you can get and check him out. He records a lot of shows on the app. He does a lot of amazing things for people on the, um, on the app, so definitely check him out right there for sure. Guys, if you're new here, welcome, welcome. This is a show that we do every single Monday night. It's called Gratitude, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time every Monday. And the show's about finding people who wish to show more thanks during their life. Each week we have two guests that, you know, just talk about circumstances, people, and memories that have humbled them, you know, to help them reflect and grow through the act of gratitude. And I'm just so much uh, appreciative and grateful for uh, to be able to have a platform like Meet Me along with all the other sister uh, apps to be able to provide content and a show like this with amazing, amazing people each and every single week. So, um, guys, just to kind of uh, let you know, uh, we start every show out with a quote. And it kind of reflects into the new topic we're talking about in the week. So, guys, we'll leave you with this. Family isn't defined only by last names or by blood. It's defined by commitment and by love. It means showing up when they need it most. It means having each other's backs. It means choosing to love each other even on those days when you struggle to like each other. It means never giving up on each other. Let me read that one more time. Family isn't defined only by last names or by blood. It's defined by commitment and by love. It means showing up when they need it most. It means having enough or having each other's backs. It means choosing to love each other, even on those days that you struggle. Last week's topic, which is uh, fresh starts. And at this time, I want to welcome a gentleman along with our other guests as well, someone that, you know, are the really just awesome people on the app that, that also provide amazing content. And uh, they also have shows, and we'll kind of get into that here in a little bit. But at the time, I want to please welcome Mr. Bart to the box at this time. Hair don't care. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Let's go. Hat hair don't care. It's oh, excuse somewhere. me. It's hat hair don't care. There we go. We got to get corrected <laughs> on that. Um, welcome, man. Thank you so much for uh, taking time out of your busy schedule. I know you travel a lot with your work and all the responsibilities you have. So I just really wanted to 
tell you, I appreciate you uh, being here and, and taking the time to kind of probably do something that's a little bit outside of your element a little bit. So, yeah. Oh, you already know it is. But Blake can tell you it is. I had to do, I did his show and I was a little out of my element on that one too. But uh, I, I try I try to do as many shows and stuff like that that I can. I know you've been trying to get me on here forever and Haley's been hounding me to get on here too. So, uh, a lot of people really in it and well, here we are. Yeah, here we are, man. It's certainly a pleasure to have you. Just to kind of give a little bit of a background with you and kind of give you a, a plug. I know that, guys, he has an official show that he does every Tuesday night, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's called Valiant. And it's just talking about, you know, active military, inactive military members, you know, just asking general questions about, you know, things in their life, things that they've experienced. You kind of want to touch on that a little bit, man, just to kind of expand on what I've yeah. said? Yeah, we, uh, we discuss topics. We uh, take questions from the audience. Um, because a lot of people, you know, you see the news, the movies, all that stuff. And that's what a lot of people in the, in the world know as the military. Um, but take it from me, my experience is not what you saw in the movie. Some of it, but not all of it. Um, so we kind of just share our real life experiences and, and not what you, you know, the, the world perceives us as. There was, a, there, was a, there was a meme I saw and it was like, you know, what... You know, it's like what America thinks I do and then what I really do. You know which ones I'm talking about? Yeah. And that's what made me think about whenever whenever they started talking to me about doing this show, I was like, no, we're going to show them what really happened. So yeah, I we, think we show the light time. side of it, but we also show, you know, we answer all questions. Yeah, I think to your point, you know, a lot of times th there's a perception of, of what movies or what TV shows can kind of, you know, portray. But, you know, when you live it and obviously, again, you know, thank you to your service, you know, when you live that, you obviously have a different you know, inside, you have a different perspective, you have a firsthand experience with what really goes into that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, it's certainly a great show that you have as, as well to, you know, kind of touch on that with so many people that are, that have been in the military on the app that are active, inactive, and, and it gives, you know, certainly a great ability of content, you know, to talk about so many wonderful things and questions that you have for sure. You, you never, I never would have realized how many veterans or active duty is on this app. And and even even older people. My mom watches my show every Tuesday. Um, you know, and, and other people. You know, their kids might be thinking about joining. There's younger people on the, in the community that might ha don't don't know what to do with their life. Sure. So if they have questions about it, I mean, we answer it. And we answer it honestly. It's not we don't give you the recruiters' answers. Yeah. And I think that's why you also have done very successful and well with your show. Is is people like the rawness. They like the the vulnerability of. Of, of what you bring to the table and certainly the guests that you have as well. So, um, you know, as we kind of, you know, reflect on our last week's topic of fresh starts, man, um, what, what really goes to your mind? What really stands out when you think of fresh starts? Has there been any kind of, you know, things in your life that you consider a fresh start? Um, is there anything that you're comfortable with sharing in a way that has made you very grateful for certainly the opportunities and, and things that have, you know, been brought up in your life? You know, I was talking to some close friends that I've met on this app. Um, I'm like, man, I'm doing a show. We're doing fresh stars. And they're like, well, that's easy for you because they, they know a lot about my life. Right. And I'm like, you know, I don't really talk about stuff like that. But, I mean, it can go. It goes, look, I haven't had that perfect suburban, you know, perfect life where everything just went the way it should. You know, went to high school, played ball, went to college, played ball, graduated, went to corporate world. I didn't have that life at all. Um, so, I mean, fresh starts, I just think you, you're going to have more than one fresh start in your lifetime. Absolutely. That's the way I look at it. My life is always like that. Uh, so that's the first thing I think of. And I think my first fresh start that I can think of was the day that I joined the military. Okay. And do you think that when you joined that, do you, do you think that the perception of, you know, kind of like you were talking about earlier, what, what people perceive, you know, through movies and television, do you think that that was something that that was in the back of your mind? Or do you think when you kind of got into that um, and jumped into it, you know, full force that it was like, wow, this is a fresh start. This is a fresh reality. Maybe something I wasn't exactly prepared for. So whenever I joined the military, I had a good job. I had a good job. I worked for a land surveying company. I did surveying. I didn't really see it going anywhere. I mean, it was just, you know, it was, I was going to do the same thing all the time. Um, but I was still young. I was still in my hometown. I was still going out partying with my old friends, you know, getting in trouble without getting caught. 
uh, and like it just wasn't it wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't going anywhere. I was just gonna be stuck there doing the same things for who knows how long. Uh, so one day I decided, I, you know, I'm gonna go talk to a recruiter. Signed up, and the reason I did it was because you know you go join the military, you're gonna get the discipline that you need. And uh, at that point in my life, I just felt like I just needed some structure every day. You know, you're going to tell me what I got to do that day. And it, that's what I thought the Army was going to be like. But it wasn't necessarily that way. But so that's why I did it. So I had to kind of get a, a new start on life away from everything I knew in my hometown. Right. Yeah. I think like, you know, you made a great point is I think a lot of times in people's lives, it can kind of, you know, ebb and flow. It can peak and valley and things like that. Sometimes you know, people can get in a rut where they don't necessarily have the consistency, you know, of a, of a life or a direction that they want to have. And, you know, for you, obviously, in your personal life, you found, you know, the army to, to be able to do that. Do you feel like that as you were going through that, that it gave you a sense of direction like we were just talking about? Do you feel like it gave you the ability to look at your life kind of and step back and say, hey, look, this is the fresh start. This is the direction that I want to go. This is what certainly I can make my life. And, and it be, you know, a fulfillment in so many big ways. Well, at first, at first it gave me the drive to do something, to push something further. You mm -hmm. know, when you first join, I mean, I was, you know, just this, you know, every day go to work, get off of work, go to the bar, go drinking, go whatever. There is like, whenever I first joined, I was 23 when I joined. There's a lot of people that was 18, 19. So I'm, I was old at that point. Um, so I wanted to be better than everybody. I wanted to push to be the best while I was in there. And then as I got out of there, I wanted to grow in rank. And then I just wanted to kept going, kept going, kept going. And I could kind of see where I could have ended up. Um, granted, I didn't retire in the military, but it, it kind of gave me the drive and the direction of the man I wanted to be. Sure. Wow. Yeah. I mean, because, you know, like you said, the foundation is certainly important you know, for any direction that you want to go in your life and to be able to have that certainly makes a lot of people, you know, grateful for those opportunities for sure. And speaking of grateful guys, if you're new to this, this is a show that we do every single Monday night. It's called Gratitude, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And what we do is we just talk to people every single week about things they're grateful for, situations in their life, circumstances in their life that they're appreciative of, and really just give different topics to, to kind of make us think outside of the streams and and outside of, you know, what we are kind of accustomed to with, with everyday, everyday life. So uh, we're certainly talking to Bart about fresh starts. That's the topic we're discussing with him. And, um, you know, guys, like I said, we have an amazing show that we do every Monday night. Bart has a great show every Tuesday at 10 o'clock that he does called Valiant Eastern Standard Time. And also, guys, if you have an opportunity, please check out that trending board at the top. There's amazing shows Monday through Thursday, all throughout the day, all throughout the evening. You can just check in. You can set you can set yourself some a little bit of time apart just to kind of pop in for five minutes and, and see what people are bringing to the table and just sort of support them in a way that I know a lot of people have shown content creators can appreciate. So. Um, man, as we kind of get back into the fresh start, you know, when you were in the military and you got, you know, the, the discipline and, and the, the ability to, to kind of see, you know, like you said, the man that you wanted to be, the opportunity that you want to have in your life, when you kind of got out of the military, what, what were some things that you maybe set aside that you applied to your life in a way that um, has made you obviously the person you are? I mean, you know, obviously as we're streamers and things like that, people have very, a very small window of who we are as people, who we are as individuals and what our life may or may not be on or off the app. So what do you feel like had, had been a, something that you, especially for a fresh start applied to, to maybe, you know, just have you be the person you are today? <clears throat> well, I'll say this, this is probably the first place I've even talked about it. Um, when I got out and you were talking about fresh starts, this is another moment where I had a fresh start. Um, I got out and I went through, I was diagnosed with PTSD and it was almost a complete downward spiral, spiral back to whenever before I joined. I was, I had a good job. I was partying all the time though, drinking, whatever it took to get my mind off of things that was in my head. Um, loss of marriage because of it. And it was no fault of hers. It was just, I was in a place I didn't trust anybody. I wanted to do my own thing. Nobody else was going to tell me what to do. And then it got to the point where it was almost like when I joined the military, it was like, no, you got to do something. 
So I turned it around, uh, st- got a good job, started just quit all the partying, and I, I knew I needed a fresh start at that point. And after, as soon as I figured that out, man, uphill again. Uh, so it's always important, and I wanted to, I wanted to make sure I say this now before I forget, because I wanted to say it is, everybody has downtime, right? Everybody goes down in their life, and they feel like you, you're just not going to get out of it. Um, a lot of people will just say, oh, it's depression. But it's not always depression, but it may be. But you you got to think positive. Like, you just got to think. If you have a goal and you're negative, just look at that goal and be like, all right, today I'm going to do this to get you to that goal. And if it doesn't work out, guess what? You're still going to wake up tomorrow and you can do it again. Um, and and that's where I how I got to where I am today and how I found the app. So, Yeah. And I mean, like you said, you, f- you find the app, you find, you know, something like this that becomes just a, an amazing hub and amazing cesspool of, of, you know, personalities and people and relationships that you have on the app, off the app. You know, people certainly run their streams whatever way they do. But when you have people come in and support you on a regular basis, you know, we may have some downtime off the app where we're struggling, like you said, and, and you're just you feel like you're not going to get past that stuff. And you feel like you need a fresh start and then you get on here and you realize this is a fresh stream this is a fresh day this is a fresh opportunity for me to kind of get myself out of that maybe mentally um maybe i'm just not at a great headspace where i can really think clearly but you know this certainly is an opportunity you know to be able to make these different connections with so many different people to help you kind of restart refresh recharge your battery sort of get yourself back to neutral and get an opportunity and a place where you really feel comfortable that you can be you know your best self your best person to where everybody can certainly appreciate that for sure and and that's a big reason i kept streaming when i found the app i did not plan on streaming right people people kind of talked me into it and then when i realized by me being goofy and doing whatever i do whether it's dress up in a dress or drink a nasty drink, do a silly dance, you know, whatever it may be. You know, one person could have locked, just hit my picture right there um, and just, you know, they could have been having a crappy day and then saw me sitting there doing something ridiculous or saying something ridiculous and then their mind got to get out of that and then get them back into a positive mindset where they can go ahead and tackle the next day. Right. You know, you know, I had a very similar story to you, as, you know, as you share something you know, extremely personal about your life. Uh, you know, I had been previously married and, you know, for different reasons and various circumstances, people part ways, things aren't necessarily always peaches and creams like you want it to be. And, you know, you kind of step away from the situations and you kind of step back to trying to focus on yourself, you know, figure out who you are as a person, figure out the best mm-hmm. direction for your life, you know, the best next steps forward. Um, and that's kind of how I found streaming too. I didn't even know what live streaming was. I didn't, you know, have the first, you know, inclination at all of, of what it was. And I was kind of like you in a way where, you know, I, I kind of popped around and, and, you know, supported people and not really knowing what I was doing. And people encouraged you like, man, dude, you should really stream. You know, you bump, you pop into date boxes and, and people seem to like your personality. It's something that you should do. And I think that, you know, in that, that reason right there, we've been very similar in, in a way that, you know, as you go live and you meet all these great people and, and you have that fresh start, you know, when you look back and see where your life was at, maybe on a personal level, you get to this and it's like, man, this is just an incredible ride. It's a wonderful journey and it's a fresh start. And it's certainly in a lot of ways for me, especially, I'm sure like you as mm-hmm. well, where it's been a tremendous, you know, opportunity and blessing to to be able to, like I said, connect all these dots with so many different people. I I, I strongly believe in that. And, and there's a lot of ne- negativity on the app and a lot of people try to focus around that. I've said this before on uh, other shows or or streams you just gotta you just gotta stay in your lane be happy don't be negative um i mean look me look now i I never thought i was gonna be streaming and now i mean i'm gonna go ahead and say it i'm I'm the most sexy man on this app you know so without me what would y'all have (laughs) i'll 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 be second hand yeah exactly i'll make it all day long so yeah but you're right though, man. I mean, it's just a great thing and it's a great way to, to, to allow people to see, you know, your personality, your vision, your direction of, of what you want to have. And it's just certainly a great and wild ride that I hope that we both can continue 
ourselves included as well as other people you know enjoy that journey enjoy that fresh start enjoy that ride and, and make the best that you can of the situation you're given yeah um, you know like you said like we were kind of wrapping up a little bit with the fresh starts you know as you as you found this as you've made the connections and the you know the provided the content you have with the top badge and the a show and and the great following of people that you have where do you see going forward do you see another direction of a fresh start do you see another vision or maybe a, an opportunity for you to continue to grow and, and start fresh um you know what do you see there well i think my next fresh start is going to be you know like a serious relationship marriage that's going to be my next fresh start in my life um when it comes to streaming i've had some some ideas in my head for for a show whether it's featured or or just another just a bart show but you know, I have some other things. I mean, my stream's starting to change a little bit here and there. So, so I think it's time to, to, to change that as well. Yeah, I love it. I think it's important to try to continue to reinvent the wheel, reinvent yourself in a way that, you know, you don't know who you're going to come in contact with each and every single day and to be able to put on your best face forward um, and know that the people that already support you will continue to appreciate and value what you're providing as well as new people and, and, and new people that have never experienced, you know, who you are, you know, as a streamer and as a person. Oh yeah. Don't get me wrong. Ladies, Bart will still be here. <laughs> don't, don't worry. You don't have, you don't have to always come to Jameson. I mean, I'll still be here. Trust me. <laughs> hey, the app, the app's big enough. We can share everybody. There's also a lot of great people on here to, uh, you know, check out and support for sure. Um, Man, anything you want to kind of add in closing to the conversation? Anything you want to share to leave with people as any kind of, you know, wonderful advice? The floor is yours, brother. You know, since since we are on the app and I get this question a lot, I've actually had this question numerous amount of times where if somebody's stream went in the wrong direction, they'd ask, well, man, do you think I'll ever be able to get my top badge because I did this or I did that? Absolutely you can and that's a fresh start there in its own because you can just have a fresh start with your stream, reinvent yourself. Don't not be yourself, but maybe not, maybe, maybe reflect from what you've been doing and just be like, Oh, you know, that's not me. Same as me. Like if I was doing what I did whenever I was 21 years old and I was on here, there is no way they would have gave me a top badge. No way. Um, and just just live life, man. And if, and if you're not happy with it, take that fresh start mentality. Look at yourself. Look at what you can do to change it. And if it doesn't work out the very next day, there is no reason you can't wake up the day after and continue on your journey. I love it, brother. Uh, I couldn't have said any better myself. I like that. What a great attitude that is. Um, man, thank you for taking the time. Thank you for, you know, providing, you know, an opportunity to get to know you a lot better in a way that I think I'm sure a lot of people have not been very, you know, familiarized with you. And I just want to thank you and tell you it was an absolute pleasure and a privilege to get to know you a little bit better. Appreciate it. We have our moments, but it's not too often I get serious. Hey, <laughs> hey, the ice and lightning dragons hit every now and then. So we get serious every now and then too. There you go. You just hit it right here. You saw it. <laughs> hey guys, if you've been living under a rock the last year and a half or two, Please hit this man with a favorite. Check out a show tomorrow. It's called Valiant or Valiant, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Tuesdays. Check him out. You'll love it. We got we got two great guests tomorrow, too. I'm not gonna give up who it is, but but you you're not gonna miss it. We got we got actually next few weeks, we got some great guests coming up. Hey, I love it, brother. I'll try definitely be there for sure. All right, brother. Appreciate right. you. Take care. Bye, guys. Wow. Guys, what a way to start off a show right there, for sure. Man, what a, a great conversation. What a great dude to be able to, to you know, share his thoughts and, and his vulnerability and, and just who he is as a person and his personality. It's just really good stuff. And I'm glad that, again, like I said, I'm glad we're able to provide this every single Monday. Uh, and it's just a, a, pri a privilege and an honor to be able to do that, for sure. Guys, like I said, if you're new here, this is a show that we do every single Monday night, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's called Gratitude. And, you know, the show is just about finding people who wish to show more thanks during their life. You know, each week we have, you know, two guests that just recall circumstances, people, and memories that have humbled them, you know, to help them reflect and grow through that and gratitude. And that's, you know, what we were talking about with Bart is just fresh starts and, and how important that is to, to have that vision of your life and realize that, hey, it's not always going to be, 
you know, butterflies and clouds in the sky, but you can have a fresh start. You can, you know, be the person that you want to be. You can provide, you know, the best, you know, version of yourself that you want people to see and, and know that you can start that fresh each and every single day. So, guys, as we kind of switch gears, we're going to introduce this week's topic and to kind of touch back and piggyback on what the to, uh, quote was earlier in the show. It was about family. And that's what we're going to be talking about tonight with a very special guest, someone that I consider a very dear friend, someone that I certainly admire, like Bard, have a lot of respect for. Um, and I think that we'll be able to really dive into a great conversation uh, with this gentleman here at this time. So at the time, if I could request Mr. Chris Casper to the box. Hey, how's, how's it going? going? Deep breaths, let's go. What's going on, brother? Deep breaths, yeah. Uh, I'm doing really well, Jameson. It's great to see you. Great job, Bart. Talking about the real things. Always, you can catch him every week, but different host is going to bring something different out of each person, and it's good to, good to see that out of Bart. Absolutely, for sure. Like you said, man, I mean, it's so many people have so many great personalities on the app, and it's cool to kind of dig into to people's, you know, different points of their life and, and to be able to find different things about them that maybe they necessarily shared a lot of times on stream. So, you know, to be yep. able to have a platform like this for sure is certainly awesome. Um, guys, like, like I was saying with Bart, if you've been living under a rock, under a meet me rock for the last two years, this is Mr. Chris Casper. He has a great show every single Wednesday at nine o'clock. It's called Suited Up and it's a very similar uh, show where he interviews people on the app, up and coming streamers, top badges people that provide a lot of cool content. So definitely check him out on Wednesday at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. He also does, he's pretty much the face of the app. On Fridays, he does the rundown where it pretty much gives all the, the newest tips and, um, you know, streamers of the week for the app, the newest top badges every single Friday at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So you can check that out and, you know, all the contests that people are in. He provides the uh, rundown for that. And, and if you can kind of just check that out every single Friday, he definitely will be able to move. He definitely will be able to read the comments like it is in my stream for sure. But definitely check him out and, and, and you know, try to support him in whatever ways you can. Um, that pretty much, man, gives you a little bit of a of a plug is there anything that you want to share about yourself that people would love to know i'm sure they really are excited uh, it's great to be here my name's chris um for those of you i haven't met yet it's nice to meet you i've been streaming since 2018 and um yeah happy to be here yeah, well happy to have you for sure um as we were kind of getting to the topic of, of what we were going to discuss with you as family um Sure. What, what, how do you feel about that, man? Like, what, where does your mind really go when you think of family? I mean, I know for me, you know, you don't necessarily, and it says it in my bio, you know, you don't have to be blood to be family. I think mm -hmm. that a lot of times I've been able to have a lot of people on this app that have become my family. And I kind of just wanted to get your thoughts on what family meant to you and, and how much you value that and how grateful for, for you are for that in your own life. Yeah. The word, well, your show's name is Gratitude. And if you were to ask me something I'm grateful for, the first thing that's going to come out of my mouth is going to be my family. Um, I consider myself to be very fortunate for the people that I have in my life. Um, my, my mom, my dad, my grandparents, my aunts, my uncles, we all have a great relationship. We're very tight knit. Um, so much so that was so much of what I was exposed to that you know, I, I would like to believe I have not taken for granted and I'm, I'm very appreciative of it. So if you say the word family, obviously it will go right to my family. Um, but I'm very blessed to have some great friends as well. Yeah, for sure. I, I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat as you where I, I, I feel like I've been very fortunate enough to come from a great family. I feel like my family has sort of brought me up in a way where I value friendships. I value relationships with other people. I value my relationships with my family in a way that I think to your point is, is very much molded and, and made me and shaped me into, you know, obviously the person I am today. And I've been very, you know, grateful for that, especially. Um, yeah. I know it's probably a little bit different for you, you know, sort of being what a lot of people consider the face of the app in a lot of ways. How have you been able to kind of, you know, correlate that to having real relationships of people on here that you consider family? How have you been able to do that, you know, on a daily basis, I mean, you obviously are very busy being, you know, the the video coordinator for content and all that, and the director. How do you, how are you able to do that on a on a regular basis and still be professional? 
Well, it was different. When I took the role to officially become part of the company, um, I had to set a lot more boundaries. And a lot of the things that made the app really special, um, I knew I wouldn't be able to enjoy in the same type of capacity. Sure. That, you know, like taking all that in consideration though, I would say that what I'm able to receive by doing what I'm doing, um, it gives me the opportunity to connect more people and extend that to people so that it's not just myself who's getting to experience those things, but I'm doing my best to make that experience great for many other people. Um, I still maintain a lot of relationships with the people that I become friends with from the platform. Um, it's different now, the sides that people get to see of me. And because of it, I feel like the way our relationships are established and what they're established on is going to be different. If you would have talked to me two years ago, the person that they knew and the person that they got to get to know and, um, and the person that I am would have been able to get to know of them would have been a completely different thing. So uh, it's definitely different. I wouldn't say it's a negative thing. I wouldn't say it's a positive thing, transparently, um, because I did value in many ways the, the, sometimes the lack of polish that I could have, right? Sometimes people say like, oh, it's streamer Chris right now versus like Chris Chris. And you know, there's, there's pros, there's cons. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, I, I think it would have, uh, you know, for me, especially, you know, knowing you as a person, I think it would have been very interesting to be a fly on the wall when you started back when you did, because I think a lot of times people see you and, and see the rundown and they see suited up. You know, I think sometimes they, they may forget that you started out just like we did. Everybody starts at zero. Everybody to like the other point we were saying was a, you had a fresh start. You know, you became someone on an app that you were interested in, in trying to navigate. And, you know, you started fresh, too. And, and to be able to sort of, you know, reminisce and think about how that was for you, I'm sure it was just an incredible journey to see where you are today, especially. And to know that you've been able to have these great connections with you know, people on the app that you probably consider your family as well as the amazing supporting cast of people you have in your personal life as well. Yeah, and I don't mean to say that I'm not able to develop friendships or things like that any longer with people. I'm not a robot. Sometimes I act like one. I'm not just a robot. Uh, it's, it is different though. Um, and it's exciting for me to see the connections. Obviously 2020 was a different year. Um, it wasn't, the best when it came to being together with people, right? We're all self quarantining. Um, playlist was right before the pandemic shut down. Um, and by this time we would have already had another playlist and had this connection. So there's an entire class of streamers and an entire generation of streamers because things move fast. Anyone who's done this for more than a month sees faces move, come in, they go. A year is an eternity in the streaming world. And there's groups of people who feel like lifelong friends who have never had the opportunity to meet each other because there hasn't been one of these events. Um, and you know, maybe something in, will happen in the future where we're able to get back together. Um, but even like look at Playlist, how it was moved until September of 2022. You know, not even this year it's happening, it's happening in 2022. Yeah. So um, that's, a really long-winded way to say is that um, the connections they they bridge from app but they bridge into real life and that's where I, I think it really becomes apparent to people that yes this is an app and yes you are talking with people on a daily basis but it really is something special when it goes from a screen to in person yeah absolutely do you feel sometimes that you know I know that you certainly value the role that you have and the ability to you, like you said, bridge the gap and, and form the connections and provide for so many different people on the app that are not familiar with that. Do you feel like sometimes that you miss the ability to have that personal connection? Um, or do you still feel like that you get that maybe in ways that, that people don't necessarily understand to this day? Um, it keeps me out of trouble. <laughs> doing, doing this, I mean, I was always a clean streamer. Um, sure. I was never someone who was like getting in trouble or doing bad things. Um, that being said, it, it put that next sense of accountability on me, right? Like, think twice. Like, you know, maybe you're going ham on your stream. Like, think about the next, the next few stream, the next few months, or the consequences, like the things that you say. Those were always things that had been on my mind, but it added another layer to it. Um, and 
I think in order to survive and, and make your way through the live streaming space, you have to keep top of mind, hey, this could be recorded at any moment, or what I'm doing, it could exist for forever. Um, and when you get lost in the moment of streaming, sometimes you forget that there could be an entire audience of people. Sometimes, like you and I, Jameson, right now, can feel like it's just us two, but just a couple hundred people probably watching right now. And that's something to keep mindful of. So yeah. your question, your question though, which I barely answered. <laughs> do, do, yeah, don't, don't let me pull a me and just steer it where I want it. What, what you said was, do I feel like I'm getting another side of things or do I miss it? Well, yeah. Cause I mean, like you said, you, you go from kind of where a lot of people are, you know, to being in a more professional official role. And like you said, it's sort of, you know, transitioned and changed you know, the connections that you can have with people on a daily basis. Like, you know, you don't go live every day. You know, you pretty much are on the app twice a week as far as what people see right. you. You're on right. it every day and you, you know, you jump into shows and you provide a lot of uh, amazing, you know, advice and, and a lot of other things that people don't see, the intangibles. But do you feel like that, you know, like you said, the family that you have and how much you value family, do you feel like sometimes you, that you may miss that ability to be able to have those personal connections um, on a daily basis? Good question. Okay, here's how I'll phrase my answer. I get to do it in a different capacity now. Where I used to get most of that connection from being on a screen and broadcasting, I'm not live anymore during the night because there's shows on. And I wouldn't feel good broadcasting and going live when I know that there's people that I work with regularly who, who, who tirelessly put blood, sweat, and tears in these shows and then for me to go live over their show slots, what that's is kind of communicating is, hey, I know what you do is good, but I feel like my time here could be more important or people should come and see me because I might be a better flavor, a different flavor than whatever you're doing. And that just doesn't sit right with me. But where I do get to make those connections and develop those relationships is on the back end when we're working on shows together, when we're working on scripts, going over the performance, you get to see uh, someone bring to fruition uh, a goal. Like some people right now, they have new goals. That's not to have a badge, but it's to have a featured show. And someone can go from a conversation of not knowing what they're going to do to a month or two later having something featured and promoted. And to get to see that excitement and know that I was able to be a part of that process is very rewarding. So short answer to your question is, I, I do get to still do that. It's just in a different form. Different form. All right. Yeah. Guys, if you're new here, this is a show that we do every single Monday night. It's called Gratitude, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And we just have two guests on every single week that we talk about different topics of things that have made them grateful for, appreciative of in life, circumstances, situations. Um, and we're talking to Mr. Chris Casper about, you know, what family means to him um, and, and certainly how grateful for he is in his own personal life with that. Um, as we kind of get back to, to the topic of family and maybe your real life setting, what is, you know, to whatever you're comfortable sharing, what has been your family's opinion about the whole app? What has been your family's real opinion of, of what it's brought to your life and, and how it's brought a whole new set of family, like you were saying, um, in, a, on, in an app setting or in a yeah. technological setting? Uh like I said in the beginning of the conversation, I'm really fortunate with the family that I have. Um, I could have told them that I'm going to, to Alaska to train seals or, I don't know, penguins or penguins in Alaska, Antarctica. I could have told them I'm going to go to Antarctica to train penguins. And they would have been supportive of that because they want to see me happy. And they knew that the investment that I was making, the platform, the things that I was doing, I was, I was connecting and making relationships. And, you know, there was like obviously the monetary piece to it, but there was also just the fulfillment piece, right? Like this app kept me from wanting to go out, you know, and just drink or, you know, it gave me a different way to focus my time and my energy. And uh, it was with building connections and working on content and having fun with people. So my family has been since the beginning, extremely supportive of this. Um, and you know, every Wednesday they watch the rundown every Friday, or I'm sorry, every Wednesday they're watching suited up every Friday. They're watching the rundown. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, to, to them, it, they, yeah, they, they've just been supportive. 
Yeah. Well, it's certainly important to have that when, you know, when you're in a, a capacity like you are to, 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 to certainly have a, an amazing future and, 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 you know, opportunity, you know, is, is amazing for you. I'm sure. I think when I um, first started streaming and, and being on the app, you know, it, it took me a little bit of time to sort of find a way to explain it to my own family. Really didn't know how to go into the conversation, really didn't know how to explain, you know, what the app was, really didn't know how to explain to, you know, especially my mom and dad, you know, the ins and outs of what I was doing, you know, what it, what's going on here and things like that. And the best way that I summed it up as for them to understand was, I told them it was pretty much just FaceTime with gifts. <laughs> and my mom knew it that way. She she kind of put the pieces together on what that was. And then, you know, I took also two opportunities. I showed my family when um, I first had my episode of Gratitude Official back in January. I showed my parents that, and they thought it was just amazing. And I was like, now, every or every stream that I do is not like this. You know, we're not talking about topics like this all the time, but I wanted you to kind of get into my world and, and see what I'm really doing and what I'm spending my time with so you don't think it's just a waste. You see that it's something that I'm very – appreciative of and, and grateful for to have a show called gratitude and then yeah. I also showed my mom and dad you know when i got you know the top badge not so much because it was what it was 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 a top badge but the opportunity the validation the the people that i named you know when you asked me people i wanted to shout out to i showed mm -hmm. them that these were real people that i had in my life that i considered family people yeah. i still talk to on a regular basis and how important that was to, to for them to see that maybe I hadn't necessarily met these people yet in real life, but they're just as much impactful and meaningful in my life as I hopefully am in theirs. Yeah, I, we have something in common that we're fortunate to have that. Yeah, so it's it's been an incredible journey, and um, I just have loved to um, to really be a part of this. Um, Kind of, man, wrapping up what we were talking about with family, is, is there anything that you kind of want to share in closing with you know, what, you know, what advice or anything like that? Yeah. Um, as my voice cracks, <laughs> um, I, I will, I will bring it back to the platform for it because the word family gets thrown around a lot on the platform. And, um, there's a saying that I, I live by, I, I'm always throwing out sayings, right? But one of that, I, one of them that I love is, those who matter don't mind and those who mind don't matter and so if you're trying to figure out the things that will interest you or as a broadcaster develop who you are and you feel like certain groups or certain opinions will conflict or maybe people will not accept you for it you hear on the runtime all the here on the rundown all the time hey just be yourself do your thing it's easier said than done because people fear the consequences of it. Of what if I come on and people just don't like me? Or, you know, I've, I've not been a broadcaster, I've been a viewer. How do I make the transition and do this? And so, what the reason I say those who matter don't mind and those who mind don't matter is that when you're able to establish what your circle is and find the people who, regardless of the things that you take interest in and that you're passionate about, they want to champion you and help you achieve those things. Those are the people that they're not going to mind if it doesn't quite align with the things that they're interested in, or they're not going to uh, be the ones who put you down. Um, and so for the people who are the naysayers or they do talk negatively about the things that you're interested in, you don't have to be everyone's flavor. You don't have to make everyone happy as long as it's not being mean or derogatory to someone else, you know, it's okay to have different interests and opinions. I like heavy metal, play Magic the Gathering, and um, like bright colored suits. I'm not everyone's flavor. And that's okay because the people who disagree with that, well, to me, it doesn't quite matter because I understand what's important for me. So right. super long-winded there, but that's the tidbit that I'll leave on. And how I would connect that to family is, it's those people who don't mind. Those are the people that, that are like family. Yeah, I completely agree, man. Those that support you in the app or even off the app, those are the people that you have to focus on. Like you said, you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. You're not going to be everybody's brand of vodka, but you have to continue to be yourself for the people that do appreciate you, the people that you consider family. You have to continue to be the best genuine version of yourself. 
Know that those people will continue to appreciate you and love you for who you are. And know that at some point, hey, I have a platform where all these other people can be welcome to the family in a way that will help you at the end of the day be very fulfilled and, and very appreciative of what family really means. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Guys, if you get a chance, please favor this man. He's got a show every Wednesday, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time called Suited Up. Also, every Friday at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, it's called The Rundown. It's not Chris's show, but please tune into that for all the latest information, streamer tips, top badge announcements. Please favor this man. Chris, again, man, thank you uh, so much for taking the time to be on here um, as a guest. And, and even more so, man, thank you so much for just being a, a, a great friend off the app to me, especially. That. Thanks, man. Um, it, it means a lot. You know, I'm not just saying that for show purposes. I'm saying that as a friend purpose. And I just, I appreciate everything that you've helped me grow from a show standpoint. I appreciate the advice that you've given me, you know, in a personal setting. And, and I, you know, at the end of the day, very much consider you as much of a brother to me as anybody else. And I just wanted to tell you, I appreciate that, brother. Feelings mutual, man. Thank you very much for having me on the show. All right, man. Take care. Yeah. Cheers. Take care, everyone. Follow Jameson. Follow the show. Good luck, man. I'll see you soon. Guys, Mr. Chris Casper, what a show. Man, Bart starting it out with fresh starts. Chris finishing up with, with family and how important that was to him. Guys, what a show tonight. Just very honored and grateful to be able to provide this every single week. Like I said, guys, this is the show that we do every single Monday. Gratitude, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And the show is just pretty much about finding – um, you know, being grateful in your life, you know, um, just recall circumstances and, and people that have humbled you in your life. And you're ever interested in being on the show, please hit me up in the bio. You can hit me up on Instagram. Um, we're always doing different topics and, and things like that. And we kind of just want to revisit that quote to start the show off with you guys and just let you uh, let this kind of sink in with you a little bit. As we were talking with Chris about family, family isn't defined only by last names or by blood. It's defined by commitment and by love. It means showing up when they need it most. It means having each other's backs. It means choosing to love each other, even on those days when you struggle to like each other. It means never giving up on each other. Let me read that one more time, guys. Family isn't defined only by last names or by blood. Is defined by commitment and by love. It means showing up when they need it most. It means having each other's backs. It means choosing to love each other, even on those days when you struggle to like each other. It means never giving up on each other. Guys, I just want to leave you with that quote, and uh, I, that certainly hit different for me when I read it. And um, I just wanted to, again, thank you guys so much for being here to – be a part of a, a show and a, a thing that I try to do every single week that I very much value and very grateful for the opportunity to, to do that and kind of just let you know what next week's topic is, guys. So next week's topic is the ability to grow. So let that think, let that sit in with you a little bit. Let, let your mind wander on that a little bit, the ability to grow. I'm sure there are things in your life that you want to continue to grow, continue to be the best version of yourself. Maybe it be financially, maybe it be with your relationships, maybe it be a, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, wife, you know, um, maybe it's uh, the ability to grow with uh, people that you consider really close friends in your life. So that's what we're going to be talking about, guys. Again, if you're interested in me on the show, please hit me up on Instagram. I have a team of people that help me with a lot of different things on the show on the back end. And uh, I certainly would love to just have uh, anybody ever interested in it. Just hit me up. So, guys, thank you so much for being here. That was the show. That's a wrap.